That's really coming down here. Hey, buddy. Snow is coming down quite a bit right now. Uh, so the priority changes. I want to get my tarp up first before I do anything. Uh, hang up my bag, try to get up my gear up off the ground. So that's what I'm about to do. I got the wind coming up my back pretty much this way. It's almost on a diagonal. And normally you've always heard me say that I, I like to set it up parallel to the wind like I've learned. Um, and that's true, but for just today I'm not spending the night over and I really want to get out of the snow. Uh, half the reason is because my camera is out in the exposed, so I'm going to set it up this way today. The way that I attach my tarp to the ridge line is I just take a loop, put it through the, the tab on the, on the tarp so that there's a loop of paracord in there. I just slide the toggle through there. I learned that a long time ago on a Midwest School bushcraft course. So my tarp's all set up except for one corner and I haven't had to use pegs to go into the ground at all. I imagine the ground's not too frozen where I couldn't pound it in but it's, it's on its way and soon it will be too frozen for that. So I'm going to try and simulate that. So I've got every other one tied off to a tree. This is the only side that needs to go down to the ground because there's no tree around it. So I was watching a, a YouTube video and I saw a pretty cool trick that I never knew. The, the snow right now isn't deep enough to do a snow anchor and I've done that, tied the, the paracord around a piece of uh, stick and jammed it in the snow and stomped on it and it freezes over. Well, snow is not deep enough for that. So this is the alternative. I got quite a big stick, a big heavy log here. I'm gonna wrap it around there. I'm gonna wrap the paracord around that and try to do it that way. Nothing fancy, I'm just gonna wrap it and tie it off. Then I can place the log as far away as I need to, creating the tension. That ain't going anywhere, that log's not going to move. Okay, you can see uh, how I set it up. I got the awning and then the backdrop. Uh, a couple things I did that I didn't show were I had this awning flat. I ended up raising it up on a higher pitch so the snow's not going to collect too much up here. And I put a, a middle tie out going back right here so that I have more room. It was kind of caving in on me. So I'm all set up. I can get out of the snow, get my camera out of the snow uh, when I'm done filming, and uh, build a nice fire in front, cook up some food. I run down on my day kit for today, a day like uh, out in the snow today. So uh, clothing wise, I got these Thinsulate workman's gloves. They're like the, the leather, normal leather rawhide gloves, but they have some kind of insulation on the inside. They're good. I like them. Uh, I got my silky saw. I got this axe. I only ever used once. I uh, busted my finger open on it pretty good. I <laughs> kind of put the end to it. but. Um, I'm not no I'm not a leather worker so it's a cardboard and duct tape sheath, you know, real fancy. Uh, it's a strike master. I think it's made in China. It used to be made in Canada, whatever. Uh, sharp and I got a nice straight handle on it, straightish handle on it. So we're going to play with that today. Um, it's about 24 inches long. So my Maxpedition Condor 2. I have had this bag for 3 or 4 years. Uh, it's not fancy. Uh, I know a lot of people have moved on from Maxpedition. It's like yesterday's cool thing, but whatever. It still works for me. It works really well. Uh, it's, it's bomb proof. It's got some blood all over it from my finger. <laughs> uh, what else? I got an algae. I got a titanium snow peak pot that I'm going to mod. Uh, put a bale on it while I'm out here. I'll show you guys that. A different way to do it. Uh, can of soup. Oh, this is pretty cool. Some of you guys who are on the forum know that I haven't been able to eat gluten for a couple years. I thought I had an intolerance to it. Um, I'm going to get tested next week, and for me to get the right results, I have to eat gluten. Uh, so it's it's really I'm really happy about that. I haven't had chicken noodle soup in two years. So it's, as simple as it sounds, it's awesome. I'm going to have a stuffed crust pizza later on tonight too. So that's kind of cool. Uh, some lunch meat. 
paracord, my tarp. Uh, I got snow pants on. I got like snowboarding pants on. I've used these for like three or four years. They're great. Uh, they, they stay fine. All I have on underneath these is a pair of uh, Stanfield's Polar Therms. They're, they're good. Uh, I've got a flint and steel kit and uh, my first aid kit. That's it for today. I got this really nice red oak, this dried red oak. I plan on being out here all, all for a few hours all day. And uh, so I'm gonna have a nice fire out here, cook up some food. So this red oak is gonna burn forever. As you can see how, from how long it cuts me, uh, it takes me to cut through just that small piece, it's super dense. Now this log here that I'm working on top of, this wasn't just uh, here out of the luck of the draw. I brought it here. I went out and chopped it and brought it here. It's half punky, so it was easy to chop through, but it serves a good purpose. Um, in my mind anyways, a little, say I had this, this size that I was working on top of, this can roll. That's how I split my thumb with the ax the last time. Um, so in my mind, a big solid work works uh, station, like a big log like this is, is useful, very, very important. <laughs> Can you tell it's snowing? Is it snowing, Scout? Is it snowing? Snow, snow, snow? Come here, you old goofer. Save some of the smaller pieces of oak from the top of the tree to use as a base. This will help me get a nice bed of coals and uh, keep it up off the ground, obviously. Got yeah, my tinder bundle, protect it under my clothes. Got some char cloth and a piece of flint. I'm gonna try and use my knife to start it. I've done this before. But we'll see. All right. That was kind of cool. You can see just how much it snowed. I've had this tarp set up for maybe about an hour. It's uh, almost an inch. It's snowing a lot. The fire is just a roaring. I got my titanium snow peak mug here, and I figured out a, a temporary way to put a bale on it. Now, I'm not saying that I made this up. I actually saw the, uh, the gist of this on a Iowa Woods and YouTube video, obviously, like all my stuff. But this is uh, my own little spin on it. So this is this like braided cable, almost uh, wire stuff. There's probably five or six strands braided together. So what I'm gonna do is wrap it around. Just pinch it and twist it together. This 
tight as I can. Okay, now that's secure on there. But the neat thing is, I'm gonna put the rest of the wire in between these two handles and that's gonna act as the bail. So, unroll it however, however long I want my bail. I don't need it long, probably about that much. So then you slide it in between and that's gonna act like the bail. You don't have to like secure it any more permanently than that. And once there's weight in the, in the pot, it's gonna hold even better. The lid can still go on and then easy, easy, easy to take it apart. But the really cool thing about this is that this can even has a use. I'll show you guys that. We got three sticks for a tripod. The two front ones have Ys in them at a certain spot. There's my, my soup can. Goes over top all three. And if I do this right, it's gonna lock it in place. If I don't, it's gonna fall on the fire. That already happened once. <laughs> so I need to move it back some. I don't know how this isn't any more easy than just tying it together, but it's kind of cool. So I thought I'd try it out. Okay, so that's all set up. And I've got a cross piece to go in the forks. This doesn't fall. And then I've got my rigged up bale that I was doing. It works totally fine. And a little pot hanger I made out of a stick. So hopefully this will work this time. Bam. There we go. Useful, kind of necessary, no, but fun nonetheless. There's the old soup can up there holding it together. That's the gist of it there. Yeah, it's kind of neat, I think. Probably never do it again, but some fun to fun to try stuff out. Okay, soup's done. I just wanted to show you guys how to take this off super easily. So, that's it. You just untwist. And that's it, man. I think it's pretty cool. It's nice and simple. Cord already wrapped back up together for the next time. That was a good idea. the damn thing up.